Welcome back to Eyewitness News at noon. At, no, it's not noon yet, is it? Normally you're at noon. So. I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself today. I'm going on vacation today. All right. We've got Charlie O'Hara in the studio and Eyewitness News this morning here to answer your legal questions. We already have a couple callers on the line. So, caller, go ahead now with your question for Charlie. Yeah, I had bought a car from a small car lot and uh, paid cash, spent over 60 days, no title, and I've spent over $600 on it. What do I do? Well, uh, obviously you want to be real careful when you buy a car, especially from a smaller lot. I, I mean, the bigger the dealer, obviously, the longer they've been in business, the more you can trust them a little bit, but you have to be all, uh, careful with all that. Uh, if you pay cash for a car, you ought to get the title from a, a, a used car dealer most of the time on a small lot. If there's a reason, if they've been in business a long time, sometimes it, there is a delay in getting that. Uh, the fact, and, and if you don't get it pretty soon here, you better talk to them. If they don't have a good reason, you're probably going to go, need to go see an attorney. If, if, if there is a warranty with the car and, and they're not fulfilling that, then that's another lawsuit. If you bought it, there's, there's a little bit of a period that you can buy a car and they're supposed to keep it running. After 60 days or so, you probably uh, bought a car that needed too much repair when you bought it and you're, you're going to be out some money. So if you don't get that title pretty quick, I think you better go see an attorney. Uh, uh, something's not right there. Okay. okay. We do have another call in line. Go ahead now with your question. Okay. Are we ready to go? Yes, go for it. Yeah. Okay, thank you. About a year ago, I, <clears throat> excuse me, moved to the state of Oregon and uh, to be with family, and it didn't go well at all. Mm -hmm. um, so I came back home to Wichita, and once I came back home, I realized that they had stolen some of my property, uh, two expensive handguns. So I called the sheriff's department. Uh, sheriff came out and says, yep, they got them, but there's nothing that we can do. Uh, it's civil. Uh, you have to come back here. Well, problem with that's that's two and a half days there, plus court costs, plus gasoline, plus lodging. Uh, tried to contact my relatives and received a phone call back from the sheriff's department say, don't email, don't call, nothing. Is there anything that I can do that I'm not aware of? Well, I mean, I, it sounds like there's a real discrepancy about how they got the guns and what's going on and what the facts are. And it doesn't sound like the, the sheriff at least thinks there's a crime involved. What you need to do, if the guns are worth a lot of money, you're going to have to go to an attorney out there. You can hire an attorney wherever you are. You can be in Wichita, Kansas, hire one in New York City, and yet you don't usually have to go to court very often. So I think I'd contact an attorney in the city where the guns were taken, see if the attorney can file a lawsuit or do something on your behalf without you going out there, and see if he can either recover the guns or the value of the guns. All right. Thanks so much, uh -huh. Charlie, for being here. Thanks for your calls. Let's head over to